So we're still doing this? Tell them how about the fucking dogs. That's what I told them. Listen, I didn't want to have to make this video. I can't believe I have to make this video. But here we are. Don't misunderstand me. Marvin Harrison Jr. was the best wide receiver in the country in 2022. He's going to be the best wide receiver in the country in 2023. And he's going to be a first-round draft pick, probably in the top 10 somewhere. This video is not about Marvin Harrison Jr. Down here in the SEC, I thought I was aware of fan bases that just couldn't let things go. It didn't matter what happened in the game, they always had some excuse. It's the ref's fault. It's the injury's fault. Believe me, I heard enough of that from Alabama after 21. Then Tennessee steps up, tries to have a good year in 22. Then they get whipped in Athens. Absolutely dominated. And all we heard was, oh, but if it hadn't rained, I'm over the excuses. I didn't think anybody, anybody, any fan base could be more whiny, more excuse-making than the 2022 Tennessee Volunteer fan base. Then rolls in Ohio State. Now, Ohio State was a hell of an opponent. They came to the Peach Bowl. They gave it everything they had. They caught Georgia on less than their best day, and that game was really, really close. It could have gone any way. The better team won in the end. Georgia made the plays in the fourth quarter to win the game. But none of that matters. None of that matters to the Ohio State football fan who will not let go of the fact that they think the hit on Marvin Harrison Jr. in the third quarter decided the game. And that was the reason they lost. That and that alone. It's simply not true. So I started to ask myself, why, why, why? Why would a fan base do this? It's not only painful to relive a loss, it not only disrespects the game, disrespects the game that was played on the field that night, disrespects those players, disrespects the game of football overall, it's also extremely, extremely disrespectful to the university that you cheer for. The young men that play the sport of college football play it at such a high level, you, me, we're probably never going to know that. The things that they sacrifice, the things that they put their bodies through, the changes they make in their lives to be on that field and play, it is everything to them. It is their lives. Yet, when they give their best effort and come up just a little bit short in an honest competition that literally could have gone either way, the fans rush to make excuses. That diminishes everything that those young athletes have done to get to that point. Then to make it worse, you have some media members who just won't let it go either. They keep bringing it up. That's partly why the fan base holds on to those things so tightly. Now here we are, spring practice. Spring football is rolling around different dates around the country, but Ohio State has already started their spring camp. And what do you know? In his first availability to the press, Marvin Harrison Jr. was asked about the play, the hit that he took from Javon Bullard in the third quarter of the Peach Bowl. Was that a cheap hit on you? How do you how do you look at that? What happened to you in the uh, late in the third quarter mm -hmm. of, of the uh, of the bowl game? Um, I don't, I don't really know. I think you know. Obviously, he's just trying to make a play on the football. Um, and, uh, yeah, this, you, it's the ref's decision like, to you yeah. know, make that call. Whether he thinks it's targeting or not, uh, it's kind of up to him. It's not. I'm not the one making the call. Not only was he just asked about it. That's okay. That's a journalist's job. If you haven't seen this individual since that point in time, you want to ask that question, okay. Even though it's already been asked and answered repeatedly in the time since the game. But never mind that. Not only did this media member ask the question, the very first question from this individual, he proceeded to then not accept Marvin's initial answer and tried to lead him down the road of, but you know it was a bad hit, right? There was a flag thrown, though, and it was picked up and stuff. But did, did you feel at least it was a personal foul that you were hitting this neck, shoulder, head, neck, and shoulder area? Uh, it's not my decision to make. I'm okay. not the referee out there. Now, credit to Marvin Harrison Jr. and his upbringing and the people he surrounds himself with. He didn't take the bait. He answered the question like a professional would. Good on you, kid. Not only is the fan base still obsessing over it, a play that happened in a game that occurred in December of 2022. We are in March of 2023. The media is obsessing over it. My God, this just perpetuates the national opinion that Ohio State, regardless of how good you are, regardless of the kind of talent that you produce, 
you are a fan base that is full of whiners. Let it go. We will not be hunted at the University of Georgia. I can promise you that.